Hi again everybody and welcome back to Penguin Crafts. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this gorgeous little box which holds some teas. I'm not a tea drinker myself but I believe giving fancy teas is quite a nice little gift for someone. You will see when I open this my teas aren't fancy. They are in fact Yorkshire tea ones that I did actually get when I stayed at a bed and breakfast recently. So I'm sorry to the bed and breakfast but thank you very much. So I've got six there that fit beautifully in this little box and then we've made this belly band as well just to keep it shut um, when it's travelling or, or, or whatever can't get it back on now, I've done such a good job went a lot easier earlier As I always want, oh, I don't know if you can hear banging, my partner's um, flattening out his uh, chicken. Right, there we go, so there it's slid back on. So I've used some of the new ink colours, but you'll see some more details in the video. So if you'd like to see more, please keep watching. So you're going to need a piece of cardstock that is 10 and 3 quarter inches by 5 and 1 eighth inches. Um, so that's from my base, and this is the powder pink, which is one of the new ink colours. And then to create my uh, background effectively, I'm going to be using one of these stamp sets. And this one is the Pazes and Poses, and this is one of the photopolymer ones. Um, so it's one of the see-through stamp sets. Okay. And I have got three I'm going to be using here. And I've got three inks. I've got Berry Burst, which is a new ink colour. Tranquil Tide, again, a new ink colour. And then the Knight of Navy. So I'm going to start off with my largest... Um, stamp which is this one here and I'm going to use Knight of Navy. So ink that up and stamp that as you wish all over the cardstock. Okay, I think that'll be fine for now. I might add some more, but we'll see. Then I'm going to do Tranquil Tide next, which I'm going to use this beautiful circle stamp on. It's like a floral one. And then I'm just going to put these in and dot these in around uh, sort of larger paisley print we've just done. Okay, I think I need another larger one there. Um, at the same time a bit of a gap, so let's do that. Okay. And then we're going to go into our last colour. Um, which is Berry Burst. And I've got like, my favourite one, which is this beautiful little flower. And to me that's just perfect. Really, really nice and just finishes off this and makes it that bit more elegant. So again, just put them where you want, filling in any gaps. And then I think, what should we put there? We will put one of these in there, I think. Okay, and I think that's, might put one up there. Beautiful, I think. So, fasten these inks away. As as you can tell, I'm already in a bit of a mess. I do have issues, I don't know why. I'm just going to clean my stamps. So this is using an old scrubber. And then I've got the uh, ooh, Stamping Up Mist. Which, as you can see, is running out. And then I'm just going to clean these quickly. These stamps do stain, but that doesn't stop them working or anything. I'd just rather get them cleaned. Oh the way and also I need these blocks again so. okay just give them a bit of a clean right put that away so next you're gonna need your scoreboard and you need to work out which way up you want your pattern to be. So I want my flowers to be the right way up. So if you think about how you fold your box up, it's over the top like that. 
So this needs to be my up bit. So I need to have that this way, she says. So we'll see if this works. So on the long side, you need to score at uh, one and a half inches, two and a half inches, six and one eighth of an inch, and seven and one eighth of an inch. Okay. Then you're going to rotate it round. And then on the short side, you're going to screw up one inch and four and one eighth of an inch. Okay. And then what you're going to do is turn it around again. So hopefully you can see this has got the small section in. One, two small sections. We're going to have that on the left hand side. And then just in this top box, we're going to put a little dot at one inch. Okay. And then you're going to flip it over and do the same just at one inch. It'll become clear why we need that in a second. Right. And then we need to do some folding and burnishing, okay? And then my battery is about to die, so I'm just going to go and change it. Sorry about that. So I've folded and burnished all of my score lines. Then we need to do a little bit of trimming. So I've got my snippers here. And then what you need to do is hopefully you can see is, uh, probably best if I turn it over. So we've got a large section here, small, large, and then two smallers. So where you've got this section at the end, these squares here, you need to trim and uh, wedge, but I'll show you that. So I'm just going to trim up here and wedge. I knew my battery was going to die, I was just trying to find a place where I could stop so hopefully I um, missed anything. Okay, and wedge in. And then do the same on the other side. So there you go, hopefully you can see that. I might just trim that one a little bit more, just to make sure I've done it well. Okay, so there you are, you've done that bit. Then you need to do exactly the same on the other two here. Just trim and wedge in. Okay. And again, the wedging just makes everything look that bit more professional when you fold it together. You haven't got any nasty edges um, or where it's not tucked in properly or, or bits like that. Okay. So we're just wedging these in. Okay. Hopefully you can see that. So the next thing you need are your large scissors. And then where we put those two dots um, at the top, we're just going to angle your scissors and we'll cut across, okay? So angle your scissors, line it up and cut across. And this bit is going to make your lid. So as you can see, when I fold it over, we've got this bottom bit here, so we just need to cut that off. You don't need too much for the lid, it will be secure, okay? And the same on this side. And then just check you've cut enough off. Yeah, beautiful. One more thing I'm going to do um, is on these top two is I'm going to cut um, a small section of these off. As they won't be on show, they'll be hidden. Um, and I just think it makes it a bit neater. A bit off the top and a bit off the bottom. You don't have to do this step. This is just, just one that I'm doing. I just find... Just doing these extra bits of wedging do help with the, the end finish, okay? So, that is what you're left with. Hopefully you can see that. So you've got a section at the top with sort of two triangles, two little flaps, two each sides, two little square flaps again, and this bit here. I'm then going to do a bit of punching. I need to do with my two inch punch is in this top section here. I just want to take out a small section. So just need to line that up in the middle and I'm going to take out that much. That's just so when you're trying to get your tea bags out it makes it that much easier. 
So we now need to do a bit of glue. A lot of people tend to use Tombow on this, but I'm going to use Fast Fuse because I prefer Fast Fuse, okay? So we'll do, we'll do the box first. So you need to put glue on the coloured side of these tabs and then on the coloured side of these ones. And that reason is because we're going to fold it up like that, okay? So coloured sides of these and coloured sides of those. Make sure you go right to the edge of the box. As you will need that. And as always, make sure you put enough glue on to secure it. At least this item isn't a heavy item we're putting in. But it's still best to make sure you've got plenty of glue. Okay, and then all we're going to do is fold that in and line it up. It's a bit more awkward now doing the wedging, but it should still be fine. Okay, and again, fold that over and line up. And then what we need to do is push these over. I don't know if you can see that. So we put glue on that side, then all I'm going to do is fold that over. Okay, and exactly the same on this side. Is oh, just make sure I've got it level. Is fold that over. Okay, and I've created this little bit of a box for now. Yeah. So then we just need to make the lid. So in order to make the lid, you need to put glue on these two little tabs again on the coloured side. Okay. Probably should have done this before, but. In fact, it might be best to use Tombow on these, just because I've made it more awkward for myself. I prefer to use Fuse because I don't have to wait for it to dry. Um, and that's just how I prefer to work. Okay. So we're just going to hold those um, in place while they dry. Any excess glue just wipe it off, it's fine. Okay, so just hold those in place for a second and obviously the longer you leave it the, the better it'll fix, okay? And then hopefully it will fold over and close and again you can just, just press those sides in to make sure the glue is holding, okay? And then the next thing we're going to do is, as you can see, it's pretty much finished. And let's see if our um, tea bags fit, shall we? Moment of truth. And there you go. They fit beautifully. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little band around here. So I'm going to use a bit of ribbon um, and then we're going to use um, a little, um, what is the word, eh? I'm going to use a little sentiment if I can remember where I've put it. In fact, no, we're not going to do that. Do I want to do that? I'm going to put, I think we're going to make a belly band. So I've got some um, cardstock that I misplaced, but I've got some somewhere. Um, no, we will do a ribbon. We will. Sorry, I'm debating what I'm going to do here. So, I've got some berry burst ribbon here, and then I need my punch and my stamp. So, let me just grab my other stamp. So, the stamp I'm going to use is the Happy Happening ones. I know this is retired, which I'm really sad to see, but I'm going to use it this one last time, I think. Um, and just use, I think I'm going to use the thank you one. Okay, so let's do that first. So, get your stamp, bit of cardstock, and I think I'll do um, colour on colour, so I'm going to use the powder pink ink, and let's try that one again. Okay. And 
and I've got my decorative label punch. Okay. And then what we're going to do is make a little belly band effectively out of the ribbon. So let's just cut some of that off so I don't need all that. Okay, so the easiest way to do this is put it around your box and then we just need to work out where we want it to join. So we need it to join in the middle here so that when we stick our um, sort of sentiment on, it's there, okay? So I'm just going to cut this a little bit shorter and then I'm going to use glue dots, I think, um, to fasten this down. So let's um, find some. So I'm going to put a couple of glue dots on the end of this. Okay. Then we're going to wrap it back around. Hopefully you can see this. Line up your ribbon so it's straight. And then I'm just going to glue it down. Okay. So hopefully you can see that. A little belly band on there made from ribbon. And then all I'm going to do is slide it down so that my bit I've done there is going to be covered up. And then I'm going to stick this on again with some glue dots. I'm just going to line it up. And I am going to use some embellishments. So these are the new um, glitter enamel dots, if you can see. So I'm just going to put a couple of those on in the uh, in the sort of belly burst colour. Oh no, do we do very first or do we do, we will, we will do very, uh, very coloured. And there we go. There we have a beautiful little gift box um, for your tea bags. With a little um, ribbon which slides on and off. And then there's your tea bags. So beautiful, you've stamped your own cardstock and you've made this beautiful little belly band um, which keeps the box closed. You don't have to have the belly band but I think actually it's a lovely little ad. And there you go, beautiful little tea box. Thank you very much for watching guys. Again I'll link everything below um, so you can get to my blog and see everything I've used, uh, where to buy it, different sizes and I'll put all the measurements below. If you like this video, please like it and give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Also leave me a message if there's any specific vid videos you would like to see or any stamp sets. Thank you very much guys. Bye.